Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the Tide Flex ebook. I'm sorry, I got a bad hair day. Also, I'm a little cold because if you guys don't know, it's winter and that's where you get sick. So, my voice, it, it feels a little bit bad. I don't know if it sounds too bad, but kind of sick. So, that's why I'm wearing the, wearing the hat. We're talking about the Tide Flex out of either the Rams or the Vikings playbook. And in the first video, I've broken down PA post charges because I feel like it deserves a video for itself. It's got a cover three bomb, cover two bomb, cover four drop bomb, and it's great against man coverage. Now we're gonna cover all of the other plays. I know it's gonna be a long video, but there are timestamps so you can skip in between. So we'll start off by talking about stick. And stick is one of my favorite plays in the red zone. Let's just move down there. And it's especially great against cover three. So let's just move the ball right here. And what we do with that is we just put two slants on the field and the flats do a great job of occupying the zones. So slant on triangle and on X or Y and uh, what's that? A on Xbox. And then we just read whichever one is not usered. Uh, that could be either or. And then we take the one that's open. Pretty simple, pretty easy. One more time. Just gonna throw, excuse me, just gonna throw the other one. This works also in the middle of the field, but it's especially great in the red zone because that is where it's very difficult to score in. But this is, this is just a simple rock combination that really uh, does a nice job against zone. Also against cover two man. We, we of course know how good slants are against man coverage as we get shed right there. That's actually fantastic because I've got edge protector on, the, on both tackles. So... We just get shed no, still. That's zone. I didn't want to show it against zone, but just for good measure, one more time. And against man coverage, it's pretty much the same thing. Against man, a lot of people are running man blitzes. Like cover two man is not really ran in the red zone. So against the cover zero blitz, we just try to get time and then we throw the slant, whichever is open. If you have short in a lead on both guys, then they're just going to cook. Very simple, very easy. That is it for stick play. Let's move the ball back and let's talk about the other plays. The next play I want to talk about is going to be bench. Bench, one of the best plays in this year's game out of tight. Pretty much any tight you want, tight slots, HP weak. Uh, has got a bench if you put two out routes on the guys. So it's in a lot of tights, but this one is especially nice. Bench, and then we're going to call cover one hole. Let's talk about man coverage first. If I were you, I would block the running back, but there are two things you can do with him. You can put him on an angle route if you want, or you can put him on a streak and then motion him over so we get the streak up the field. That is especially nice against the cover two man because then the streak can be open for a one play touchdown. Then it is just on us to read the play, check down as much as possible to the out route. Those do an awesome job against man coverage. I'm just going to block my running back this time. Same on the left. If you need a few yards, there you go. That's a nice chance for you to get them if they shade inside that's even better but if let's just say they press so they press you see that they are not really aligned for a perfect press and then of course if we see that okay the out routes are getting back then we can look to hit the corner routes the corner routes themselves are amazing but you want to know how to throw them if you throw them that timing right there was kind of dangerous because I just threw it a little bit late and then they had a chance to catch up. Throw it on the break with a high pass is right there. Taysom Hill just drops it. But if you throw it on the break, then you have a very good shot. Generally, this is a thing. If, you th if you're playing Madden and you throw any route that beats man coverage on the break, you have a better shot of beating man coverage. That's just how it seems to be. So once again... And to snap the ball, see which corner out is open. This time it's going to be Taysom Hill. Great job against man coverage. Against zone coverage, it's not as great. Uh, let's just say they play cover three seam. If you see, okay, I think this is man coverage. Oh, wait, no, it's zone. Then look to check down. Just take whatever out is there because this is not the perfect play against zone. But the out routes can still get open for you. So that's bench. Let's keep it moving, though. Let's keep it moving, which plays next. Let's talk about inside high-low. Inside high-low, great play against zone coverage now. We have this post drop from square. That is the route we're going to focus on. We're going to streak Taysom Hill. Uh, Moore is already on a drag. Going to block the running back and put CD Lamb on a drag. Double drags are there to confuse the user. And if possible, we would like to hit it to, Han uh, to Hannibal. To Plaxico Burst on the post drop. I feel like I'm going to do this in every single video. But I'm going to talk about Hannibal Burst instead of Plaxico. But... Very simple, just going to do this one more time. Try to throw that either with a high pass, pass lead down, so that you can kind of aggressive catch it and go towards the ball so that you don't get hit by any knockouts. That is one option that you, uh, that you have at your disposal. Or you can free form it down, but free forming it down can kind of be risky. 
and if your zone drops back or it allows the user to kind of get there so i like to high ball uh high ball high ball it and pass lead it down so that's the way that i approach it it is not a great route against main coverage i'm just going to show this this uh, square this post route so you see yeah not really not really open so don't look for this to get open against main coverage but against zone coverage it does a nice job with double drags I'm gonna show this one more time two drag routes on the field block the running back you can even throw this as kind of a quick pass if you just need two or three yards and you notice that your opponent is not ready for the drag just quick uh, quick snap it and then throw the drag very very easy one more time gonna high pass it and pass lead it oops that was bad that was bad you, pro you probably want to go into practice mode and try this so that you get it consistent right there i just did a terrible job and we cannot end on that repetition that was just way too poor way too poor this time we get it nice job plaxico get it coming down with the catch that's it for inside hello we're moving at a record pace let's keep it going though let's talk now about what's going to be the next play like cross maybe let's talk about cross there you go cross there are two setups for this play and it really depends on what you want to get open first setup is going to be the streak triangle and that's it we always want to look to hit r1 out of the backfield it's a great wheel route it's better than some of the other ones i feel because it takes just that little bit longer where zones drop that little bit uh, more back and you see we throw it up the field and keith virus he turns around he catches it that's good for a few yards whenever that's open you wanna of course get it if your opponent is using the running back then be careful because sometimes they jump that just because running back wheel routes are something that's thrown a lot in my opinion and just users who are really good they know to be ready for it but now the idea of the streak is to drag away attention from that wheel route to plaxico burris and if because the drag comes in and kind of distracts the zone you see how that now gets open so we're gonna snap the ball again i can throw it to x right here or if i wait a little bit longer if i know i got the time and throw it to plaxico up the field and that's a very simple very nice and easy completion of course don't forget the running back is there and if you want you can also look to hit uh more herman more right there in that zone so for example if your opponent is not ready uh to cover it with just some ai zones then then he has to run out to cover the wheel route then this circle across the middle can be an option for you to throw the ball to of course i also want to show that this taysom hill gets some nice and easy yards so we can stock cover three <laughs> good luck there are a lot of things open the next play uh, the next setup for this is to streak plaxico burris in this case the same thing for the running back is still true if we see him that we want to hit him now we've got the double drags which means i can just hit any one of them x or y a triangle whichever one is open and the crossing out over the top is kind of like the post if you guys know the play mesh post out of gun bunch you see how that gets kind of in the soft spot and that's a beautiful throw for you to make i want to point out though that this is not the best against man coverage so i'm gonna shade over the top in the cover two man you'll see i snap the ball and circle i mean it does get a step but not really not really so this is once again not a good play against main coverage if you want to run this setup though against main coverage if you put herman moore on a post route i'm gonna run ss splits now of course this post route it cooks didn't set the protection up but you see that the post route absolutely cooked so that is it for cross we have the on the one hand we got the streak to tri um, triangle actually i want to show this off against the cover too because this actually is pretty nice Against the cover two, it is even nicer than it is against the cover three. You see, everything is open. I like the wheel route. The only thing is that it takes a little bit of time. So if your opponent is getting a good pass rush on you, then the play you want to run is to streak Burris and look to hit the quick throw, either to the running backs or to the drags. And if you get the extra second longer and the user jumps down, then you can hit the crossing route over the middle of the field. But that's it for cross. Let's now talk about slot curl. I think that's what the play is called. Yeah, slot curl. This slot curl play is great against cover two. Absolutely love it against cover two. I'm just gonna look at the left side of the field right now. So we're gonna snap the ball and you see how the corner out has a nice break and we get over the top. The nice thing about this, it's a very consistent, very quick break. If you guys pay attention to how the route looks, it's kind of like jaggedy, which is what we want to be in main cover. So I'm gonna run cover two man here, gonna shade over the top even. If you guys don't know, cover two man has got a built-in shade underneath. So if you don't want to get beaten uh, in cover two man, shade with the top and you're good. You'll see how this route gets 
beautiful separation. It's a great corner. Out. It's even better uh, than some of the other ones that have this cut. I don't know why. It's just a uniquely good corner out. Especially against cover two. Not so much against cover three. But against cover two. That's what we want to see. And then backside we can do a lot of things. We can if we want to put. Uh, excuse me. We can put Taysom Hill. Can I see it? Yes. On the corner out. And then have maybe have uh, Keith Byers running an angle route on the backside. So now you see how we can make the read between the circle and the angle route, the corner route from both sides, and we got the streak down the middle. Great route combination. And I guess what I want to kind of teach you is the importance of freestyling. So something that you might do is against man coverage, if you know that your opponent is running man coverage, is you go corner routes, uh, then zig on, on more, put CD Lamb in motion, and then, I don't know, you can put him on a trail route or something. But like really just be creative and you'll have a lot more success on offense. Freestyling is so important this year. I know that the videos that I'm doing kind of teach you to only run a few plays, but because if I showed you every single freestyle setup, or if I was just freestyling for 30 minutes, that wouldn't make any sense to you guys. So I'm showing you the best setups, but still feel free to uh, freestyle around those if your opponent is giving you certain things or taking things away. That is, of course, very vague. I get that. But if you watch the pros, you'll see that they mix up small little things based on what they see, what their opponent gives them. And that's how you become a better player. You don't just have your set game plan, but you also react to what your opponent is doing. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, let me know by leaving a like. Also, a subscription would be much appreciated. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Or hit me up on my other social media, which are linked in the description. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks so much and peace.